TIFU by donating blood with my dad. Sorry if this makes no sense. I am dumb. My mom has sickle cell so a few times I've donated my blood to her. I know my mom's blood type is A because I donate to her and I know my blood type is O because well I donate. Today I just went to donate blood with my dad. Just because. And I found out his blood type is AB. At first everything was alright then I started thinking about what I learned in biology. In high school I learned that if you have a B type blood then you can't have a child with O blood. I was confused for a minute but I just let it go because WTF. I started thinking about it again and I looked it up. It says, a person whose genetic type is either double A or AO will have blood type A. Those with genetic type BB or BO will have blood type B. And only those with genetic type U will have blood type O. A child with type O blood can have parents with type A, type B, or type O blood, but not type AB. So yet again I was confused. Is my dad really my dad? I'm really thinking about this and I want to ask my mom but what good would it bring to start some mess up with them if I don't know for sure. Did my mom cheat on my dad? Am I adopted? Does my dad know? It's all so confusing. I hope I am just wrong and paranoid but I am really thinking about this. I kind of want to ask my mom about it but I don't want her to get mad. TL. Dear found out my dad has type AB blood and you can't make a child with O blood if you're AB. There are weak variations of A and B that present as O when it comes to most antigen testing but not genetic testing. I'm not sure how it affects donations. There is something called Bombay phenotype that overrides the A and B blood group antigens in presents as O unless you're specifically looking for it. But it's actually its own special thing. Someone else mentioned cis AB. Which means your dad's genotype might be cab O and his phenotype would be AB. And you could have inherited O from both your mother and him. So your phenotype and genotype would be O. All of these would be uncommon but not unheard of. Depending on your background. I would suggest either a DNA test. Hey dad. We should try that ancestry thing. Quote. Or bring it up with your mother first on the off chance it'd start a fight before you got an actual answer. Also it was a well-written post. You're certainly not dumb by my standards. I mean. Most people I know wouldn't have even realized the blood types didn't line up. There is a small chance it can happen. An exception is your dad having ABO blood. Cis AB. If you're of Asian descent then it's more likely but certainly not common. But just for your own knowledge and genealogy. I'd still have the conversation if you're up to it. Actually in most cases. O parent and an AB parent will have only O or B kids. Just like in an AB parent can sometimes have an O child. But it is by no means a very common thing. In fact it is exceedingly rare. Both my parents are AB and I have O blood. It does happen. But honesty and trust is something you want from your parents. So if you asked them and they said they were your parents. Would you trust that or do you need more? Thinking face. Dr. Google says it can happen but it's rare. Did you get cookies after donating? We're going to need an update once you've got this sorted, op. You didn't say how old you are but regardless. Have a serious conversation with your mom. Tell her about the blood types and ask for an explanation. Coming from one person adopted by their dad to another potential person. I would discreetly pull aside your mom and ask her. Don't demand or anything from her just politely ask. Hey mom this came to my attention while we were doing this blood draw and I wanted to ask you away from dad if this is something I need to be concerned about. My advice would also be to let her know that whatever answer you get from her would stay between you and her, even if it's an answer you didn't want. And I would keep to that promise.
Because you never know maybe the reason why they never told you was because of a traumatic event. Which was the case for my mom not telling me about my adoption. Or maybe it's something they dealt with a long time ago and just didn't want to bring you into it. For your sakes. This is assuming if your assumptions are correct. Now she if says no and nothing ever happened I would not press it. And if you feel the need to investigate more just pull aside your dad and ask the same thing. Without hinting that you asked your mom before. Either way asking these questions may kick up dust better left settled so I would be prepared. Mentally for any fallout that might occur. Edit. Deleted extra sentence. You should post this in a medicine group. People there are more knowledgeable than us and will be able to tell you if there are exceptions to this rule, or if it is a hard rule. Start the conversation and know your health history. Remember though that no matter what, your dad is your dad. And if he isn't your father it doesn't stop him from being the person who raised you, bonded with you and held you strong for these 19 years so far. If he's your bio dad, perfect. If he isn't, he's still your dad. Just gotta decide if you want to follow the biological footprint. Good luck regardless op. Hoping for the best. This is why we stopped doing blood tests at my old high school. Too many kids had fathers that weren't their fathers. I want to second what some people have said here. It's possible, albeit rare. For you to have your blood type despite your dad's being what it is. Talk to your mom about it. Fertility problems are pretty common as well. They could have had a donor. It happened to me. I found out in my late 20s that my parents had to use a donor. In addition to the other good advice you've gotten. If just like to add. If your dad is your biological dad. Then he loves you. If he is not, then either he knows or doesn't. But he loves you anyway either way. It's easier said than done and no reaction you have to say potential information is wrong. But just know that both of you parents love you. And they raised a terrific, honorable, kind child. Try to avoid setting a trap. Approach it this way. Mom. My blood type is O. Yours is A. And dad's is AB. So, was I adopted? Who knows? Yours might be the rare case. Does it really matter if your dad is your biological father? He raised you. He's your dad. I think your instinct of, what good would it bring, is right on. I would sit on this info for a few weeks. Months or years. Wait to do anything until you are less emotional about it and ideally somewhat older and have some more life experience. The only way your dad's DNA is relevant is if there is some inheritable disease that you should know about and nowadays they can find out much of that stuff by testing your DNA directly. So knowing your family medical history is becoming less and less important. What's your eye color, their eye colors, hair colors, height, thumbs, detached earlobes? This is, without a doubt, the most informative TIFU I've read to date. I have a B blood but found out my son has O type. Not sure what the father's type was. But it can happen is all I'm saying. Also, please don't forget to update us what happened. I'm curious to see where this goes. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.